What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Lady with the Tattoos. And I'm here with a vlog today because I haven't been on here in a while. Only because it's a lot to handle, working long, hard hours, and then also trying to keep up with your content. It's like making content is a full-time job as well. So I'm trying to create a good balance so that I can do both without stressing my ass out. I ain't got that yet, as you can see. For the most part, for the past year and a half, um, I go to work. I go home. The first three months of the, sh the lockdown, I was literally at home. I would go out to the market and then I would bring my ass back home. Once things started reopening, I started going to work, but I worked by myself, which is good at a time like this. Like I don't, I haven't had too many COVID scares. I had one COVID scare where I had to lock down, but I was negative and so was my family. So, yeah, so far, so good, you know, I've been, I've been dodging this shit like the Matrix, you feel what I'm saying? But this would be my first time, like, since the opening, I do go out to eat more on lighter days when there's no one really there, if I'm eating inside. For the most part, I do choose to go outside if the option is available, I'd rather go outside, but I usually eat out on like a Monday or something, it's like nobody there. And people like to get mad about that. Like, oh, but you're going to have to eat, but you won't come to my birthday party or stuff like that. Ma'am, ma'am, let's, let's, let's break this down because I get so irritated, so irritated with this. Me, if I go to a supermarket or a restaurant that regulates rules as in everybody wears a mask when we're in here. Everybody has to wear a mask. If you want to go to the bathroom, wear a mask. When we're sitting down in the restaurants, we have shields in between us and every other seat blocked off. So we're very much spaced out. You, your birthday parties, your gatherings, your cookouts, your your, your family attendances. Like, let us be clear with this. When it comes to events with your friends and your families, y'all feel like y'all don't have to wear masks among each other. So only some people are wearing masks and some people are not. And it don't fucking work like that. And I can't tell nobody what to do at their events. And this is why I just choose not to go. Because I can't tell you what to do. Like when I'm working in the salon, I'm doing at least five or six or seven, eight, how many different people a day. I'm doing one client at a time. I'm disinfecting and you must wear your mask at all times or I cannot service you. But that's my rules. I can't come to your house or your birthday party and tell you, oh, people not wearing masks. They ever need to put their mask on. Like, I can't do that. I can't control what other people are going to do. Therefore, I am not coming. Get out my face. I'm tired of people. Leave me the fuck alone. How about that? Don't invite me to a fucking thing. Thank you. I don't want to go anyway. When you're going out to the supermarket and shit like that, you have to wear a mask. If you are going into a building, any type of building for any type of service or any type of anything, you must wear a mask. That's the difference between your house, your cookout, your party, and the, and the supermarket. People are so fucking dumb. I am actually deciding to get the COVID vaccine. I didn't feel too comfortable with getting the shot when it first came out because I just felt like, oh, it just, boom, we got the vaccine. And it kind of scared me. It really did. Because I'm like, it's a little too early. So, you know, I sat back and a lot of people that I've known and a lot of clients um, have gotten the vaccine. A lot of my clientele actually comes from the medical field. And, you know, I did my research on it. I asked questions. Um every question possible that I could ask. And I'm now coming to a level where I'm comfortable with getting it. And it's not even the first one that really scares me. It's the second one for me. But I personally decided to go with Pfizer because I feel like number one, it's the number one vaccine that everyone has chose. Uh, number two, I feel like it has the least amount of side effects but honestly everybody's body is different and something can affect you differently like 
me and my fiance are going to go and get the vaccine together because we are getting married in July and we do plan on going on a getaway trip. So because we will be getting married in July, we will be traveling the busiest month of the year. I feel like it's just smart to have an extra amount of um, protection when we leave because even though we will be wearing masks, like I don't play that. I wear two masks sometimes. I have a face shield. I'll have disinfectant and everything, but it's just one thing you can't avoid. And it's like the other people around you. Everybody is not going to be as precautious as you. So just to take an extra step, I wanted to get the vaccine. To be honest, I don't do medication at all. Like if I have a headache, I'll just go lay down and take a nap and drink some water. If I don't feel too good, I'll just lay down, take a nap and drink some water. I don't really... I don't really self-medicate like at all, ever, barely. I have to be crawling on the floor in pain, even through cramps. I'll drink something warm, lay down, take a nap. So um, I'm skeptical about putting anything in my body. It, not that I haven't though. Like I get the flu shot every year. Have I ever been affected by the flu shot? No. And it's just other things like... Let's not act like we don't put a bunch of shit in our body that's not supposed to be there. Anyway, the food that we eat here is crap. Let's be real. Um, yeah, I'm gonna screw some questionable people with some... <laughs> oh, that that's <laughs> I should question them more than I should question this vaccine. The amount of liquor that I can consume during a bottomless mimosa brunch, I shouldn't be scared of no damn vaccine. Unless I get that commercial at 3 a.m. And you be like, have you took the COVID-19 vaccine? Are you experiencing swollen ankles and a fat neck? You can be heavily compensated. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I hear that, I'm going to be a little scared. I'm going to be a little scared, okay? But, yeah, overall, I just feel like it's a smarter decision. I kind of want to get back to a semi-normal life like I really don't like people anyway not saying I don't like you guys or I don't like people in general I don't like the I don't like certain people okay I'd rather not be around people any goddamn way but I want to enjoy my wedding when I get married I want to start traveling and I feel like it's going to be mandatory I honestly feel like it's going to be mandatory after a while that you have to get the vaccine to travel so yeah Everyone has their own opinion. Everyone has their own life. I'm not judging you if you don't like wearing a mask. I'm not judging you if you do not want to get the vaccine. I did not want to get it for a while now. I am making this decision because I do plan on going somewhere for my wedding, my getaway. And it's going to be very busy there, very crowded in the airports. So I feel better getting the vaccine, but also I will be wearing my mask and taking proper precautions as well. So yeah, I'll be back later after I get the vaccine and I'll tell you about my experience. Just for people, if you if you on the verge and you've been thinking about it like I was, I will share my experience with you. I will be getting the Pfizer vaccine today. So after I get the vaccine, I will be back and I'll talk to you and I'll let you know how it goes. So we are here to get our vaccine. How you feel about it? I don't know. I was thinking about it today. I'm, I don't know. You don't know how to feel? Wait, because it say, it say you got to sit here for 15 to 30 minutes, right? To see if you don't have an allergic reaction to it. It said to see if you're going to have a reaction, period. It didn't say an allergic reaction. Yeah, well, I was supposed to say, it, you're supposed to sit to make sure you don't have no type so of allergic reaction to it. After the 30 minutes and we leave, I have a reaction to it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was already with it. I was panicking. I was just like, my state was like, bro, I can't do this. I think we should be fine, though. I was like, my arm going to fall off when I'm in California. It's not. I feel like I'm not even concerned about the first one more than I am the second one. Like, I'm just concerned, period, about the whole process. I don't. I don't know. I don't like the mm -hmm. idea of it. I get nervous before any type of shots, but I'm like, I've been getting the flu shot all these years. It makes your arm extremely sore. I think you got sick though. Yeah. I never. I never got sick of the flu I shot. I got but... sick off the first. I had to get it twice. I got sick both times that I got the shot. I think I'm covering the camera with my hand. Okay. So, yeah. 
after we get the vaccine, we'll be back to tell you how we feel. Can we check in early? <laughs> no, I don't think it, I should have changed the appointment that time. I should. What you pointing at? You. What? Cause you look nervous. You twiddling your fingers. Nah, I'm you still, nervous? I'm still jumpy from that. That guy trying to run the red light. That was dope. So, yeah, we'll be back after we get the shot and wait the 15 minutes. How you feel? <laughs> you look nervous. Oh, yeah. We're sitting there waiting for 15 minutes and then we can get our card. How was it? Quick. It was quick. Yeah. How was it? So I'll be back. Okay, y'all. So it has been officially over 15 minutes, probably about almost 30 minutes from our vaccine. My arm does not hurt. Do I feel anything right now? No. I feel perfectly fine. I had to calm my nerves down. So I was very nervous. But yeah, right now I don't feel no soreness. Actually less soreness than I did with the flu shot. But that could change. How do you feel? I'm good. You good? Yeah. How was it? Was it scary as you pictured it? No. Yeah. It still got me going. It still got me going. Yeah. Yes. So... <laughs> What'd you say? Get the camera on your face. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta up we gotta update the people, okay? But yeah, I got my vaccine cores. I ain't gonna show y'all because I got my personal information and y'all be people be out here crazy or whatever, but yep, got my vaccine card. And yeah, we about to get us some lunch and that probably will be my video for today. I will do an updated video probably tomorrow if I or if I feel anything. But for right now, we are okay. It was not as scary as she thought it would be. <laughs> the process was pretty quick. The line was a little... We waited a little bit. Not really. We waited like 20 minutes past our appointment. It wasn't 20 but it was, it was actually a lot of people getting the vaccine. So, yeah, we're okay. The lady who gave me my vaccine, I was asking her a bunch of questions like, did you get the vaccine? Does it hurt? Boom. Oh, but yeah. I'm okay. I'm happy I got it. Peace. Yeah, like this. And you hitting the button below, <laughs> dog. So, y'all, I got to re-record this part because I tried to record my back camera and I was not even shooting off face at all. But it has been four hours or past four hours since we got the vaccine. And what was your side effects uh, so far? My side effects? Well, any 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 extra it's just sore new right news. Now. Yeah, so our arm is feeling a little sore, a little tender, nothing unbearable that we feel like we have to take medicine for. I think it's the drinks. You think it's the drinks? We did have some drinks too. Yeah. It's numbing the pain. No, I mean, it's like it feel like how I felt when I got the flu shot. Like my arm, when I got the flu shot, my arm was sore for like two days. I don't want it to be sore for two days. It's not sore, sore. Like we can move it and stuff. It's just mm, a noticeable type of pain. Like you can, your body, you know, you know, yeah, something yeah, just happened yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Dang. <laughs> but yeah. That is it for the updates. If y'all have any extra questions for us, I will answer them. But I will say go and do your own research. Do not be on Twitter and Facebook because people be reposting all types of crazy, untrue things. Go do your research. Go to the CDC website. Go ask your doctor. Go get some real information on this vaccine if you are considering getting it. And that is it. That is all. Peace and chicken grease. Your man will call me later. Goodbye.